Thursday, you guys. Thank you once again for tuning back in and let's get right into it. So today's going to be also a short and sweet recap because I barely took any trades today as you guys will see. But yeah, definitely blessed to have ended green. So let me just quickly show you how I did on the day. Um, I, I focused only on TQs once again, right? Because the market was bullish while I was trading and I didn't trade very long today, right? My last trade was at 7.48 in the morning. Unfortunately, I didn't have too much time to trade, but um, yeah, the, the market ended up booming after that. I'll, be, I'll show you guys that in a sec, but uh, right here, you'll see I was up $44 on TQs. And today, Tesla, unfortunately, finally stopped its nice little rally, right? It had like almost a two-week rally where it, it was just green day after day after day. But today, even with the market, look at how bullish the market was, right? It uptrended so much still, and Tesla, unfortunately, couldn't keep it up. It was actually red on the day for us. So that was a little bummy, but can't really complain. Um, so here's the market, and here's when the market opened up. It was trading right here near the middle VWAP. And right when the market opened up, it did have a little dip and ultimately found a nice higher low. So... I decided to start uh, wanting to go with the direction of TQs, right? And trending with the trade, thinking it was going to be bullish because of the fact that the market leading into the market open was starting to show signs of an uptrend, right? It broke above this blue EMA line here. I can zoom in to make it a little clear, right? It broke above the blue EMA line here, and now it started to make a bit of higher highs and higher lows, right? It broke this little resistance area. It kept struggling at multiple times to want to push, right? Um, so it finally broke this area. And once it did that, it wanted to look good to hold now above this EMA line and basically start using it as a support now, right? For higher highs and higher lows. So that's what ended up happening. Even though right when the market opened up, we got a small dip. Ultimately, this was still a higher low, right? The low it had here was higher than it previously had right here. And it was able to hold and basically start rallying. So that's why you'll notice I decided to get in at 640 in the morning for my first trade on TQs. That is right around here, right? Here's a timestamp to remind you guys. And 640 AM is right around here. So it's when I saw the market really want to push up above, above the blue EMA line here. And on top of that, it broke this resistance right around here where it kind of got rejected before. So once I saw that, I bought in. And... Today I didn't make so much money, right? I was only up again nearly half a percent because of the fact that I traded most of my trades light. Um, I only bought in with a quarter most of the times as you'll see and sold uh, that same quarter my position size. So I, I was only doing that because I would buy in and it, it would really pop um, aggressively, right? Kind of fast. So I would just want to lock it in thinking we are going to start seeing a big pullback near the top view up. But the market kept wanting to boom. And that's why you'll notice that there was only one time today I decided to average into TQs. And I, I was only in with 7,500, right? I only averaged in two times. I bought in with a quarter here and averaged in twice. And I bought in at 655 and averaged in at 706 and 707. So right around here is the time, the timestamp, right? For 706, 707. And it makes sense there. That's where I, I would want to average in and add more to TQs. Because it did have a little pullback here near the top view up. But like I just told you guys, it keeps wanting to use this blue EMA line here as a support. And once again, it briefly may have broken below it. But ultimately, it was able to bounce off here and validate this uptrending pattern, right? So when it started to look good and strong, I averaged in twice and I sold it just, um, I believe, yeah, a few minutes later. Uh, everything, right? So that was probably once it neared the top view up here once again. So that was my biggest trade and it probably didn't even make me anything crazy. And I did have some losing trades here and there, but I, I just made up for them again, buying in with, you know, that same quarter. So that was my biggest trade on the day. It was just that little move. And it's because the market, like I showed, like I just told you guys, it got rejected here. But when I saw signs that it wants to keep validating this pattern and showing signs of growth for TQs, then it makes sense for me to want to add to something, right? If it's showing signs of growth. So that's the simple reason I did it. There's nothing more complicated to it. And I did stop trading, as you guys will notice, at 748. 
that was right around this area. I, I just didn't have any more time today. But if you guys will notice, the market ended up still performing nicely, right? It kept wanting to use this blue EMA line here as a support. It may have briefly broke below, like I said before, but ultimately it's still holding this pattern. And it just kept doing that, right? It would have been in your best interest to keep going with TQs, no matter how overbought you may think the market looks, because direction is still in your favor. And I agree with you that market does look a little overbought, especially recently, right? It's been pushing up so aggressively. This is it on the three year chart, but the NASDAQ has really rallied a lot recently. And because of that, um, it, it definitely looks a little overbought, right? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, but I, I'm just not gonna be the guy to try and predict the bottom. I'm, I'm gonna wanna go with direction when it makes sense. And if it keeps up trending, I'm gonna keep wanting to go with TQ. It's as simple as that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys learned something and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care.